Hello and welcome back. Um, I'm Cesar Knight 13 and welcome to part 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! As you can see, um, I've decided to change my setup a bit. Um, so instead of showing you with like real cards, I've got the software um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Where I'm going to talk you through the basics of um, Yu-Gi-Oh! So as you can see, I've, set, I've got this setup here. So we're going to have a quick, like I said, I've got my deck. Um, like I said, just get out of this for a second. And I will show you. So here's my deck. Same deck that I have originally that I showed you on the last video. So all oh, my cards here. Uh, my extras. My extras on and stuff. And I'm, I'm literally going to show you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! While, while we do it. Kind of thing. Obviously you can't see the text and stuff on this because I've got my screen. But like I said I'll describe go for each and every one. So this is my deck that I've showed you last week. And um, there's my blue eyes and, and everything. So we're going to quickly go into a game. We're going to play against the AI just so it'd be a lot easier. So I'm just going to add the AI, add my deck, and we're going to jump straight in. So obviously, first thing you decide who goes first, what paper scissors is normally the way, or coin flip. Like I said, we get, we get to choose. So we choose again. We only draw five. Opponent draws five, but they get to draw six. If I remember, they get to draw six. But well, anyway, so this is the start. You have a, in, I mean, you play these type of games, you do have a time limit. So here's my opening hand. So like we said, I'm going to activate my Dictator of D. Send my boys to the graveyard. That allows me to special summon my Dictator of D. I can still normal summon if I want to, because that was a special summon. And I shall use the effect of this monsters from my hand. Place these two cards. These allow me to summon these in defense mode. But the effects are negated. But because I've got two level 8 monsters. I can synchro summon. So I'm going to synchro summon. And I'm going to synchro summon this card. Also, these are the extra zones that we mentioned uh, um, last on the last video. These are where ring monsters normally go, and so on and so on. But at the same time, XE monsters can go there. And um, we can also normal summon. So I'm going to set that face down in defense mode, and then I'm going to end my turn. Now you're going to see my opponent. So like I said, we are playing against the AI. This is very fast. This is how Yu-Gi-Oh can play. Don't know what happened. What, what happened to my monster there? But it got it got KO'd. My turn because my stone has just been sent to the graveyard. I can use my stone's effects, and it allows me to summon any Bruise Dragon I pretty much want. I'm going to summon my Jet. Come forth, Jet. Okay, so you're going to use Book of Moon, flip, flip my jet over. But I can just flip it back up, so that was pointless. Um, What's in my graveyard? What is actually in the graveyard? Okay. I'm going to normal summon this. And then I'm going to synchro summon my spirit. And then I will attack with spirit. Probably probably the worst thing I could probably do, but I'm going to attack anyway. Now I don't want to use spirit's effect. But I will use my boys. Well, nope. Now we can attack. So we're going to attack. Activate. Nope. Activate jet effect. No, nope. I want to activate Jet's effects. Like well, I said, you do have to, with um, online Yu-Gi-Oh games, you do have to be very careful when you're doing it because obviously you can actually mess it up. In real, in real life, it's a, it's a lot different. I'm going to use this card's effect, a stone. No, I don't want to use the um, thingy. And we are going to resolve, we're going to summon Spirit. The spirit's effect activates when he's on the field. I can banish one spell trap card. So we will do that. Okay. 
Uh, nope. Activate effect. Now, this, this is the one that annoys me the most. And I'll go into detail in a minute. So. I'm going to use my effect player. I'm going to... No effect by that. I'm going to use my um, ancient, whatever, whatever that card's called. Basically, as always, a brew. Switch that into attack mode. And we're going we're gonna to go out for the all out attack and hopefully win this duel. So, activate my boys. So basically, this is how this is how a duel would normally go. It's like I said, it goes really fast and it can go really slow depending on how the game goes. So we, like I said, we won that match. We're not going to save the replay, but as I was saying, there are certain cards and stuff, and that's how quick a game can go. It can go really fast and really slow kind of thing depending on the, the opponents you're fighting and whatnot so we'll have a rematch and we'll go into a bit more detail because obviously when, when you've got used to the game you literally just go into like auto mode so this is my opening and as you can see i've got a lot of ever high level monsters now i can special summon my alternative boys alternative by using its effect its effect this card cannot be normal summon so it must be Special summon from your hand by revealing Blue Eyes White Dragon in your hand. You can only you, you can only special summon Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, and um, once per turn this way, this name card this card's name becomes Blue Eyes White Dragon while it's on the field or in the graveyard. Once per turn, you can target one once the opponent controls and destroy it, but the card can't attack the turn. It's done. So basically, special summon, summon my Alternative. Uh, now, like I said, I can use this effect and summon them and go back into what we did earlier. So I'm gonna, I am gonna do that again. Summon boys. Like I said, special summon, special summon, synchro summon because we got two level eights, and I'm going to synchro summon this card again. Place that there. Then I'm going to activate my spell card, which allows me to discard this to draw two cards. So I'm going to get these for backup on my next turn. And that would be the end of my turn. Then again, like I said, my opponent plays their cards. Like I said, back to my turn. I draw. Ah, my turn is back in my hand. Like I said, we're going to set that this time. We're going to special summon again. So we're going to special summon because we've got an alternative. And everything. Now I can activate my alternative's effect if I want to. Or I can just go for the attack. We are going to just go for the attack, I think. Mirror Force. Uh, like I said. Yes, we. I'm going to use the effect of... Um, there's a reason why I put my um, Jet Dragon in the graveyard, because as soon as one of my cards get destroyed, I can special summon it from the graveyard. So we've got a Jet back. And we can use Jet to Fet to basically return one card to the end as well. And do some damage. End my turn. There's not much more I can do. We will activate my trap card since he's trying to destroy since the opponent's trying to destroy it. Protect my jet dragon for the turn. So your opponent can't do anything, so it goes back to me. I'm going to special summon my um alternative. So now I've got alternative. Now that I've special summoned my alternative and it's treated as Blue Eyes White Dragon, I can now resurrect my trap card, which I will. So I've got my um, Blue Eyes Protection again, kind of thing. And then we're going to attack with our two monsters. Using um, Jet Effect, sending that to the hand. 
And then, like I said, we're going to end our turn there, I think. Like I said, don't need to use my trap card just yet. Nope, don't need to use it yet. Like I said, we're good. We're still good. My turn. I will activate my spell card trading. Send that. Get some more cards in my hand. Nice. Now I can activate my Return of the Dragon. Or to resurrect any of my level 8 dragons. So I'm going to do that to summon my boys again. And then, you know what? We are going for the attack and we are winning this duel. And I, that is pretty much how the door goes and everything. So again, just a very easy go back for kind of thing. But as we as we're explaining, like I said, I'm not going to go into save mode. But as we explained, you've got your monster zones here, basically. So you've got five monster zones. You've got your field spell. You've got your back. Like, like I said in the first video, you've got like a banish area there, which is even normally by the side of the graveyard here, or basically on this, it's here. You've got your two extra Sphinx Summoning Zones. Um, XYZ, Fusions, and Synchros can go there, but mainly Winx Summons go there. And everything, you've got your five Spell and Trap cards, and then obviously those Eagle Symbols there are your Pendrums. So if you're using Pendrum Monsters, you put one Pendrum Monster there, and you put another Pendrum Monster there. Obviously, your deck is here, and your extra, extra deck is here, kind of thing. But as you can see, this is how you play the game and everything, like, like I said, and whatnot. So we'll do another quick rematch just to see how fast this is. Like I said, it's my turn, so I get to go first. Um, I'm going to activate my Dictator of D's effect. Send one of my boys from my hand to the graveyard to special summon. Then I will special summon my alternative. So alternative has been special summoned, and then I'm going to play my Stone of Ancient, and then I'm going to Synchro Summon into my Spirits. Now, the thing I have with Spirits is Spirits Effect reads as this. Right, neither player can special summon two or more monsters at the same time. So basically, we can't special summon more than two monsters at the same time. Once per turn, doing either player's turn when the effect of a card in the graveyard is activated, you can negate the effect, the, um, the activation. Doing either player's turn, you can tribute this synchro monster and special summon one mon white monster, white dragon type synchro monster from your extra deck in defense mode, and then it gets destroyed at the end of the turn. Now, every time I play this card on a Yu-Gi-Oh simulator. It's, its first two effects never seem to work properly, ever. Because obviously you're not supposed to be able to special summon more than two monsters, and it's this one. Because it keeps asking you to do the tribute effect instead of the graveyard effect when you want to do the graveyard. So I tend not to play this card on, on mine or basically on any Yugi simulator because it's hard to try and navigate the second effect with the, the, the gates for the graveyard. Kind of thing. Do you want to activate? Yes, I want to activate that. Activate my stone. No, I don't want to use spirit to negate. And I'm going to summon my jet in attack mode. Urgh, you son of a bee. No. 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 You're going to attack my spirit. I don't want to use spirit's effect, but I will use my um, jet dragon's effect. Won't combine it with spirit. See, so I'm going to get constantly asked about. So I have to target. Attack target. Um, that one. Do do. Nope. Nope. 
because um, Spirit's got that automatic destruction effect, you will be asked each turn if you want to use it, no matter what. Right, we're going to activate this card from the graveyard. Send that to my hand. No, I'm not going to. Basically, you banish my um, Ancient when it's in the graveyard, and you get to basically select one Baroise or Dragon type from your graveyard into your hand. Is it, is it Dragon? No, it's, right. um, it's target one Baroise, Baroise monster. That's it, it's a Baroise monster. Which most of my cards act as a Baroise monsters anyway. Special summon it again. No, not bottomless trap hole. Aha, uh -huh. my jet um, defends it. And then we can go for the attack. And win this door. But yeah, that is pretty much this deck in a nutshell. Kind of thing. And that's how the game works, kind of thing. Like I said, there's there's a there is more advanced um, door winning and everything. There's a lot more stuff to talk about and everything. There's a lot more to go in. But I just thought um some people says after the first video that a visual a more visual where you can actually see what a door's like would help. Well that's how a door would work. Like I said, you pick an opponent, you play with your deck and you just play with the cards. And everything now obviously you just read the cards effects and stuff and um, with this the video that the first video that i showed and um, told you and everything you've also got to see how the phases are so again we'll do one more match because i didn't really talk about the phases and stuff so add, add ai ai just had the same one that we've just been having did nothing special so like i said again you basically decide who goes first and, and whatnot and like i said Draw phase, standby phase, like I said, because I had nothing to affect. I went straight into my main phase, so this is my main phase. Again, I'm setting my trap card, activating my trading, sending that to the graveyard, getting two more cards. Um, going to activate my Meridae because I'm not, I don't like my hand. let get these two. Now I can actually do something. Special summon my alternative. Try my alternative. Then activate this to summon my jet. And then I'm going to end my turn there. I will activate my trap card since then planning to destroy it. And use that. Technically, that should have stopped it, but okay, whatever. Okay, my turn. I will flip my uh, my alternative. I will set this, and then we will attack with my jet first. Use jet to bet, because I don't trust that card. Okay. I am going to use my... Right, there's a reason why I use my spell card, the Return of the um, Dragon Lord, because it also resurrects and it also protects the dragons as well. So, Jet is protected. And we can carry on with the attack. End my turn. I will activate my trap card, my True Light. It's a continuous trap card because of that symbol in the corner. And now I can use its effect. Now I've got two options. I can special summon a blue eyes. Or I can get a specific spell trap card that's got blue eyes in the name. Or in its text. So I'm going to do that. Like I said, we can, these are the two cards we can have. So I'm going to get my ultimate fusion. Have that nice and set up for next turn. Like I said, it's my turn now. I can activate my um, Dictator of D. So I'm going to do that. Send one blue eyes to the graveyard. Like I said, special summon it. Now I can activate my true light or I can activate my fusion. I'm going to activate my true light first. We are going to get another spell and tra spell and trap card. We're going to get vision with eyes of blue. And then we're going to activate it. Reveal the boys from my hand. Yep. 
Um, I'm not going to activate that card yet. But because of that, that I can special summon one of my cards. And I'm going to special summon my Dragon of D. Um, Dr Dragon Spirits of White, sorry. Dragon of D. Don't know why I said Dragon of D. And then we will activate my Fusion. Do do. Now I can special summon any of these cards because I've got the material I need. Um, it all depends on you. Like I said, you don't need Palmization for Twin Burst, but you do need Palmization for Neo Ultimate and um, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Um, and same with Tyrant. We are going to summon Tyrant. And there's a reason for it. So I'm going to use the one Burizing from my hand. And we're going to use the Burizing in my graveyard. To summon it. There's a reason I want to summon Tyrant. Because Tyrant allows you to attack all monsters. And plus it also allows you. Um, equipped with a card. By this card. Attack all um, monsters your opponent controls. Each each turn, once per turn, at the end of the damage code, if this card battles, you can target one trap card in your grave and set and you set it. So I can resurrect any trap card kind of thing. So it, it, it does protect your um, traps as well. Yep, activate the effect. We can bring, now we can resurrect our protection. So we've got our boy's protection again. And like I said, because he summoned another monster, my tyrant can attack yet again. And keep, can keep attacking the monsters. And then there we go. We've won the door yet again. Again, this deck is, isn't that challenging the fight, to be honest. It's one of the easiest decks you can fight. If I was fighting like a meta deck, my boys deck wouldn't stand a chance. But again, that's pretty much how the, how the game is. Any questions, please put in the comments and everything. And like I said, I will answer. Um, obviously, there's still a lot more complicating stuff. There's like ritual monsters, which I don't use, and everything. There's um, synchro monster, um, pendulum monsters, which I don't use, and there's wink monsters, which I don't use. So I'll do another video. Um, like I said, wink monsters. I'll, I'll show you what wink monster is right now. So if we go to a, a deck, and um, like I said, we'll get like a wink monster. Uh, where are we doing wink, wink monster? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Wink monsters. So, just get me a wink monster. Uh, I just want a wink monster. Uh, um, right, if you're wondering what this game is, this is called Yu Gi Oh! Um, what's it called? Yu Gi Oh! ED PO. Um, PO. Um, you just type in Yu-Gi-Oh on Ryan for free, and you can like to find it. And um, this game, this game allows you to play with all cards, not uh, not just the uh, the new cards. This game allows you to play with TC LCG cards and the works and everything. But yeah, like I said, I don't really use Wink Monsters. Um, actually, I have got a deck that's got a Wink Monster in it. To be honest, um, just bear with me one second. God cards. Uh, why is that not why is not not switch my deck? Uh, let's get out of this then. Oh, it's crashed. GG. GG. I said GG. I said it's completely decided it wants to crash and die. Oh there we go. No we have. No we haven't. That's that's me messing up. But anyway, so but basically that's what well we monster looks like. Um so the more blue, um, you can see it in the top corner here. Um, like I said, basically you've got white decal slots here, the wink slots kind of thing. Um, can't really show it much on there because as soon as I move, it's going to move. But you've got decal arrows, and the arrows indicate which way it's pointing to. And depending on what it's pointing to, its effect will work. Kind of thing, so it'll have like an effect saying if this card is pointing to your opponent, it does this, or if this card's pointing to um, another monster, it'll do this. And like I said, you you basically count on these. The other thing is, th um, they don't have attack, and um, they do have attack. I don't know, they don't have defense, they don't have defense points. It's the things so you can't stick these cards in defense mode, they don't go into defense mode, they go straight into attack mode. And um, each card does different in order to summon them, it'll tell you on the card. 
Um, you mainly need like effect monsters, so you need three effect monsters, and then you basically merge them into a ring monster, or I'd say specific types. So like for this this one, this uh, Fire Lord, Dragon, Sing, I can't Sing Fury, or whatever the last name is. Um, it says three plus um, effect monsters. So basically, because it's a level six swing level six swing you need about six um for your about six winks um um six effect monsters to the um, to summon it but if you've summoned a ring monster beforehand so say you summoned a level three wink monster which you'll say at the bottom and i'm probably butchering ring monsters so again someone can easily explain like i said i don't really use wink monsters that well so again i'm still if you're on Wink Monsters, I just know the sort of basics, if that makes sense. But if you've got like a level 3 Wink, if you summon a level 3 Wink Monster, you can then use two effect monsters to add, or, or three effect monsters to add the, the next the remaining numbers you need. Or like I said, if you've got two level 3 Wink Monsters, because they count as effect monsters, you can Wink over each other and basically make the level 6 Wink kind of thing. So that's how Wink Summons work kind of again i'm probably butchering it and i do apologize if i am like i said i really don't use wink monsters at all because i just find the entire thing absolutely complicated i'm sure someone will say oh wink monsters are the best and everything and they probably are but i cannot stand wink monsters for anything and that is me so next one is pendrum we're going to go into pendrum cards so um by typing odd now i should be able to find he says and then obviously not oh i hate this game sometimes fine clear search um if i type in odd right we like there we go there's a wink monster and um, pendrum monster sorry so again, Pendulum Monsters are completely different. Um, you can't really see on this side because of my camera, but they've got two different scales. Like you can see the image there. It's like the bottom's green and the top is um, the normal summon. Um, Pendulum Monsters have two effects. And um, they've got their Pendulum effect, which is at the top, which is, again, you can't really see on here because of where my camera is. So if I, I can't even move it either because if I try and move it, it'll change. Um, but basically you've got the top and the bottom the top is your pendulum effect so at the bottom the underneath my underneath here is the pendulum effect so can i just quickly move my so all this here is the pendulum effect so if i not and you just do that that will work the pendulum effect only works when it's on the pendulum on the field you know the two actual sides that i said on the um, spell and trap card so you place your pendulum there straight from your hand just like you would activate any spell card um, and then you'll do the pendulum effect once per turn or how many turns if it says if it's a normal monster like i said like this one this uh, this part would be like the usual text if it's an effect monster we'll have its effect monster effect and basically when you play like a normal monster that's when you can use the effect the big difference with these cards is you've got like a scale number on the one on the side you can't really see there but the sides just a, just by where the pendulum effect you have like a scale number and it'll be a 1 2 12 depending on that depends so if you've got a level 1 and then you've got a level 12 on the field you can summon any monster from 2 to 11 stars straight from your hand onto the field so like i said we go into more detail now so we go into a quick match again like i said literally just a quick quick match see here these are your pendrums here so you basically put your pendulum cards on either side so but say you got a level one there and a level eight there you can summon any card between seven, one and seven and, and one and eight so it'd be one two three four five six seven and you basically summon them all there um xyz um, i was gonna say xyz pendulum monsters when they get destroyed nine times out of the ten they go into the extra deck on top face up meaning you can pendulum again the next turn if you've got if you've got space in your field if not then they'll go to the graveyard and they're said otherwise and that and that's it 
So we've got to quickly surrender this door because we're not we're not actually playing it. So we're just going to end it. But I just wanted to quickly show you on the field, and that and that's it. And that is basically some of the things. Obviously, ritual cards are different. Ritual cards is a brutex. Um, the completely different to ring summons and everything. They go into your deck as well, so they count as cards in your deck. You need a ritual card to special summon them, so you get a ritual card and and the rit um, ritual monster in your hand. Use this spell card to play. It'll tell you how many sacrifices you need because you need to do like say the num number of stars. Play it. Sacrifice the monsters, summon the ritual monster. It's 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 really easy, but you need to have basically like all cards on the field and stuff. There are ways around it. There are cards that are special summon ritual monsters and stuff. But again, you need this spell card, the ritual spell, and the, the ritual monster in your hand to do it. And that's it. So again, any questions, please you know feel free to ask and everything and i'm ha I'm happy to answer and um, i think this is it for you Giel, now because it, uh, there's not really much more to talk unless you guys got any questions and and want any special videos on certain topics and Yu-Gi-Oh, and um, like i've showed you how match plays and everything and um, i might show you some of my decks that i've built and everything and whatnot but anything um, else please let me know in comments and i will gradually gradually show you take care and have a good time bye well